Hey, my name is and welcome to the Kapoing Editor. You're probably here because you have a story to tell or a message to share and you're looking for the tools to do that. Well, where you are now in our editor is where you can bring those stories to life. Say goodbye to the days of inaccessible, slow, or confusing video editors. We've made content creation as easy as possible for you by modernizing editing tools, making them intuitive, and putting everything you need to craft your story right here. In these next few minutes, I'm gonna show you around the editor and walk you through the basics of how to make content in Kapwing. The first step is to bring your clips and the pieces that will make up your story into the editor, and you have a couple options for doing this. You can upload files by dragging and dropping them into here or using the upload button, which is above my head if you're on a computer. That button will also allow you to upload files by connecting to your Google Drive or even by pasting a link to a video. Then all the files you bring into the editor will be stored in the media library that's on your left. You can even film videos from scratch using the record tab on the left menu as well. And if you don't have time to film clips yourself, make your video out of our library of stock videos and photos that's on the left tab. These assets are copyright free and fully yours to take advantage of. Now, once you have your clips in here, the next step is to edit and shape them into your story. This space in the editor where I am right now is called the canvas and it shows a preview of what the video will look like to your audience. You can actually change it to whatever size you want just by clicking the gray background behind me and using the resize options on the right menu over there. Right now, for example, this canvas is 16 by nine, which is great for YouTube. But if you wanted to make it vertical for TikTok, for example, you can resize it to nine by 16 instead. Now the area below me shows all the layers in your project and is called the timeline. The timeline moves from left to right where left is the start of your video and the playhead that you can move across the timeline shows a preview of that moment in the video on the canvas up here. You can make the timeline look bigger or smaller just by zooming in and out of it using the slider in this corner here. Now the timeline is where you can create the narrative of your video and adjust the timing of when things come onto the screen. You can bring clips together by dragging them side to side, trim them down by grabbing the ends of the clips and moving inwards, or cut parts out by dragging the playhead to the section you want and then using the split key to cut it into. To help clips line up perfectly with each other when you move them, I'd recommend turning on snap mode, which is down here in the corner. And to make sure there are no gaps between your clips, I'd recommend turning on ripple mode, which is also down here. Clicking on a layer in the timeline will bring up a bunch of options to your right where you can adjust how it looks. And another one of our tools that will help you edit 10 times faster in this stage is Smart Cut, which automatically removes silence from videos. Just click the clip, hit Smart Cut in the editing menu over there, and your video will be dropped into the timeline silence-free. From here, there's a world of other elements you can add to your video to make them more engaging, and they'll be located to your left. In the audio tab, you can upload your own music or sounds by pasting a link or uploading the file, or even browse our copyright free music that's located right here and add to your video in one click, which is where I got the music for this video from. There's a library of popular sound effects to choose from and many visual elements you can add to. Within the subtitles tab above me, you can create subtitles like the ones on this video automatically without needing to type them out to make your content more accessible to everyone. Other options on the left include adding text, searching for images and videos, GIFs, GIF text, shapes, progress bars, and utilize our other smart editing tools as well, like chroma key and remove background from video. The editor is your oyster. After you're done editing, the final step is to export your project. Hit the green button in the corner to export your project as a video, or click the drop down next to it to choose a different file type, like GIF or audio. After the project is processed, you're free to download it to your device or share it with other people just by sending them the link to the video. I'll leave it here for now and let you explore the editor on your own. If you have questions or want to learn more, check out our YouTube channel or resources section for more tutorials or contact us directly. Now go have fun and keep on creating.